Hello and welcome to the CATIA Basic Sketcher lesson. In this lesson you'll learn how to enter the Sketcher workbench and complete a basic sketch. To enter CATIA, either double click on the desktop icon or access it through the start menu. I've already got it open. So to access the Sketcher workbench, go to Start, Mechanical Design, Sketcher. Enter your part name and click OK. The bottom left of CATIA gives instructions with regards to what buttons have been pressed on the toolbar. In this case, the Sketcher button is activated, so it tells us to select a plane, planar face, or a sketch. I'm going to sketch on this front face, and it automatically snaps to point. The background grid can be turned on or off with this button, and the button next to it activates the snap to point, which means if I'm drawing a square or a circle or any other um, sketch entity, the points will always snap to one of these grid lines. So we'll leave that on. To pan the sketch plane left or right, click and hold the center mouse button and drag it wherever you'd like. To zoom in or out on the sketch plane, click and hold the center button again, click and release the right mouse button then move up or down to zoom in or out. If the sketch plane is off to one side and you'd like it centered, move your mouse to the center point and single click with the center mouse button. It'll snap right there. To begin, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I go over here to the rectangle button, click it. If there's any of these buttons on the side that you're unsure of or don't know um, what their function is, by clicking them so they're highlighted like this and pressing F1 on the keyboard brings up the help topic for that specific button. It's a really helpful tool to get to know the toolbars for each workbench you're in. So we're, we've still got the rectangle selected, so we're going to click the first point and then drag out wherever we'd like the rectangle. We want a 4 by 2 so we'll click there. We'll do it again from here to here. Now there's green lines and white lines on this sketch. The green lines mean they're fully defined and the white lines mean they're underdefined. We can see a more detailed description by clicking on the sketch solver button which tells us that it's under constrained and it highlights all the under constrained points and lines. The sketch analysis button tells us exactly what points and what lines are under constrained and whether they're construction or geometry lines. To finish dimensioning these, click on the constraint button and then click on the line you'd like dimensioned. If you'd like to dimension more than one line, double click and you can dimension several. To get out of the double click, either re-click the icon or press the escape button twice. Now we're almost fully defined except for this vertical direction. That can be fixed by clicking and con pressing control on the keyboard and clicking to select multiple lines then going to the Constraints Definition button. Here you can select whether they're of equal length, angle, distance. In this case, we'd like them to be coincidence. Move there, click OK. Now everything is dimensioned. Next thing we're going to do is go to the Circle drop-down menu and select a center point arc. Again, the bottom left tells us to select a point or click to define the circle center. In this case, we'd like it right there. We'd like the circle radius to be right there, down to that point there. Now it's turned magenta. That means that it's over constrained, which means we need to delete one of our constraints. In this case, I'll delete this one. And now we're back to fully constrained. I'm going to draw one more center point arc from here to 
to there. And it's fully defined as well. To clean this up and get rid of those two lines there, go to the Trim drop down tab and select the Quick Trim button. That allows you to just click and have a line be trimmed. I'm going to trim that one as well. Say yes. And then we're going to redefine everything such as from here to here and from here to there. There we go. Next we're going to use the three point circle button under the circle drop down tab. Bottom left tells us to select the start point which should be right there. The second point of the circle which is there the third point, which we'll do right there. We'll use Quick Trim, this time double clicking on it to make it remain open, and trim those two lines. Go back and define it. We're good to go. The last step is to clean up that line. Click Yes. and to add a circle. The center point of our circle is going to be right there. And as we drag it out, we'll see Katia will notice that it's the same dimensions as the semicircle on the right and brings up the blue outline of that semicircle so we can make them equal size. We'll click do a quick dimension of all of our lines and we're good to go. And that concludes the Katia Basic Sketcher lesson.